Hi guys. Hello, Suzanne Wilson here, the Carefree Medium. Recently, I had a woman tell me that she had waited 14 months to have the opportunity to ask me a very important question. She wanted to know the name of her spirit guide. Well, the good news is you don't have to get a reading with anybody to know the name of the spirit guide. So what are spirit guides? They're highly developed beings who work with us behind the scenes to support us so that we can accomplish the goals that we came here to accomplish as human beings on the earth. What are our goals? To love, have compassion, forgiveness, all for ourselves and for others, and to accomplish certain objectives that we came here that will help us grow as souls. So a spirit guide has a very important job, but you know what? The benefits aren't all one way. It's not just, I mean, you know that the spirit guides are helping us, but did you know that we're also helping them? Well, think about it. Without us, our spirit guides might be unemployed. Plus, they have goals that they want to achieve to grow in their servant leadership abilities. And anyone who has ever been a guide or talked to a spirit guide will tell you it's all about being of service. So the guides understand that we'd like to have a name to call them. Well, yeah, sure, because it's better than saying, hey, you, all the time. But I want you to know that where they come from, names are not important to them. Just like your thumb has a thumbprint, each soul has its own soul print, and they know each other that way. But, again, it's nicer than saying, hey, you. Instead of asking the question, spirit guide, what is your name? I want you to ask the question, what name shall I call you? Because think about it, they gained their expertise by having many earthly lifetimes, although not all of their lifetimes had to be here on the earth plane. But if you have 50 lives, you could have 50 names, right? All you have to do is hit upon a name that both you and your guide like. It's that simple. Do your grounding and protection. I'm in a bubble of protection. Meditate. Make sure you take three nice, good breaths in and, and out. And then in your mind's eye, I want you to visualize a white movie screen. And now set the intention. I'm reaching out to the guide that is in charge of my spiritual team. Because there's always one master spirit guide who's with you from birth to death where other experts can come and go for a season or a reason, depending on what you're working on. I want you to just focus on the one main guide that's always with you. So your eyes are closed. You're visualizing this movie screen. And now set the intention. I would like to know what name shall I call you? Remember, it's not what is your name. How much time do you have, right? 50 names or more. What name shall I call you? And let the name just appear on the screen for you. After you've gotten the name, let's say you got the name um, Cindy. Then you can ask, okay, I got the name Cindy. Is Cindy the name I should call you? You will feel the yes upward in the body. If it's not the right name, you'll get kind of a wah, wah type of feeling and try again. Now, if the white movie screen doesn't work for you, try this. Get out a pad of paper and a pen and say, okay, my main spirit guide or master spirit guide, what shall I call you? And then just take it one letter at a time and look at what you have written. And then say, okay, I've written the name Michael. Shall I call you Michael? And you'll feel that upward, happy, okay, that's right. That's what you can call me feeling. Chances are before you can even ask that question, you'll feel that it's right. Now you have a shorthand way to communicate with your guide. Now, this is the master spirit guide, the one that is always with you from birth to death. But you can use this method later on to become acquainted with other guides that join your team. There are subject matter expert guides that will come and join your team based upon your needs, like relationship guides, healing guides, and things like this. But just know that your guides work behind the scenes their goal is to make sure that they help you to the best of their abilities to stay on track, to stay on your life path, and that your life path purpose is to grow as much as you can as a soul. 
you know, Earth is not always the greatest place. It's not always easy. We see um, pain and sometimes we feel pain ourselves. But please know that you're loved, guided, and supported by a beautiful, invisible team around you. And you are never alone. Thank you. Namaste.